Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Fucking gram, you know my shit on fire, son. Y'all niggas playing, man. Follow a nigga, man. What? You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Notification gang. Get, 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 get. Yo, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, right? This could get crazy for Geechee Gotti. Geechee Gotti. Geechee Gotti. Has J Mills coming in, right? Harlem. Another Harlem MC. He just battled Murder Moot. A lot of people feel like Murray Moo got that battle. I feel like Murray Moo got the battle. I watched it more than once. I just felt like the things that Geechee Gotti was doing in the battle, as far as like, and I know the crowd, but he expected that. He knew what he was walking into. So when you know what you're getting into and you're not prepared like to defend against that, even if the crowd, because if your shit is slamming, your material's the craziest and you bombing on niggas, it don't matter where you at. I've seen Geechee go all the way from LA battle Tay Rock in Philly and have that crowd in the palm of his hand. I've seen him do it in Tampa, in North Carolina, and all over the place. So he's been used to travel. He's traveled a lot of different places. He's dealt with different crowds. He's normally the crowd favorite. You know, every battle, no matter who he battled, he's one of the favorites. Like they every fucking bar. Like he 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 really built that shit from the ground up. He built it. He won a lot, and a lot, and a lot, and a lot. And all these years later, he's at a point where in like his last six or seven battles, he might got a win or two. I mean, uh, he beat Disaster. I did see that battle. I did have him beating Disaster. He beat Mike P in that one round joint. Him and Jazz was like debatable. A lot of people got him, there's people that got her, but I mean, it is what it is. He, uh, 30 Lux, you know, but then there's some interesting stuff in there. He had the A-Ward battle again, you know what I'm saying? He had a clean paper battle. Uh, I felt like Ward got it and I felt like clean paper got it. When I reacted, reacted to the battles, I had them with it. He had the Hollow battle, I felt like Hollow got it. He just had the Mook battle, I felt like Mook got that, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm saying that to say this, it's like, this has not been his best year. He still remains relevant. He still is making a bunch of bread. No studio is going. He's elevating, doing music, you know what I'm saying? This is just me speaking about his career in general. So, and then he was in a tournament, you know what I'm saying? And he lost early to True Foe. You know what I mean? Like, that was a loss. Like, that, you know what I mean? Like, that was, that, that, that wasn't really supposed to be in, on the itinerary this year. I'm just saying, like, if you watch who he is and what he's done, you would not have thought that somebody who wanted to, when he won, when he was put in the tournament, it was like, yo, he just won a tournament. That was another one of his accomplishments within the last year or so. You know what I'm saying? He was at that high, high point, won a tournament, split the bread in half, got the rap in front of Drake, doing amazing shit. You know what I'm saying? Now you fast forward to now, it's like, based off the opponent, you don't really know who's gonna win. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas, a lot of niggas picked him to beat Mook, and Mook got that clearly. You know what I'm saying? I picked him, um, Hollow to beat him. Hollow beat him. Uh, it's just, you know, I've been hearing whispers every now and then. He's talking about retiring or his last battle or getting out of the game and things like that. And I understand because he has a lot of opportunities and things to do. But coming off of this Mook battle, I think it's crazy. That's what the title, this could be crazy for Geechee. You battling against Jay Mills. Now, listen, respectfully, I've seen Jay Mills battles. From even back to, uh, you know, Smack DVD, Murder Mood, State Building, legendary shit. I remember that, you know what I mean? <sighs> Think I'm gonna fall to a nigga named John Archibald? Like, I remember that, you know what I'm saying? Um, he, like, got off the scene for a minute, like he, like the battle rap scene, like after the DVD era kinda like died down, Jay Mills got off the scene. And he, you know, did the Young Money thing, started making moves. You know, he's in the industry, he's on songs with Drake, Lil Wayne, he's touring, he's staying relevant. I, I know that, respectfully, Jay Mills is not working at Amazon, you know what I'm saying? He's built himself a sustainable lifestyle through his music, you know what I'm saying? You gotta respect that. 
But then you always started hearing whispers about, well, what if J Mills battle? What if J Mills? You always heard these whispers, you know what I'm saying? And it had been, it had always been speculated that he was going to battle. They want to see, you know, J Mills versus Murder Mook again, or him versus Lux or Clips. Because regardless of what anybody says in Harlem or Uptown, Mills gets a, a high level of respect in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to battle rapping, J Mills was always, no matter where you went, no matter who was them niggas. Whether it was Shells, whether it was Fab and them, whether it was Joe Budden and Rand and Hitch and whoever, J Mills' name was in that conversation. It was there, period. The music might not have translated to start, because when after that, Dipset took off, G Unit took off, and these super groups took off. And if I'm lying in this history, man, y'all niggas let me know, or let me know how you feel about this part, this history. When these groups started taking off, the artist that wasn't attached to those didn't really get there. Like, the J Mills didn't take off and blow up. A nigga like Red Cafe, Gravy, uh, a lot of these MCs, they might have had a little bubble, but you had to be a star to be solo, like Fab, and take all the way off. You know what I'm saying? You had to be one of them ones. You couldn't be, I. Right. It could be a nice, nice nigga. Like, when you think of the locks, you know, um, Jada's a wizard. Styles is a wizard. She, he, he, he's, he fits his image, but he's not the one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you can have a nigga that, that's at that level if he got two stars next to him. But you can't have a nigga at this level and think he's just gonna blow up. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all niggas gotta really I realize what I'm saying. So J Mill's music was cool, but it never really took off. You know what I'm saying? Then a lot of other niggas started coming out. Cam did the solo joint, then he grabbed Votto, another nigga on his level. That music never really went crazy either, you know what I'm saying? So, J Mill started whispering to him about him getting back in battle rap. He gets back in battle rap, and you know, he has a couple battles. K Shine joined, he got dog walked by K Shine. The way he was talking to Shine, you thought he would have won. He didn't do much, but anything with Shine, he got dog walked. Then he battled E Ness, that really wasn't a good battle either. And you know, he's got some more battles on his resume, the Big K. That wasn't a good battle either. And then, you know what I'm saying, he had Jay Murder. Like, he had some moments in a little Jay Murder joint. He beat Jay Murder. Like, that's another thing. But, uh, I mean, in the spectrum of battle rap, that's not really a resume builder. I and mean, I know Jay Mills, you know, he be telling niggas to come with their conspiracy theories and think niggas just hate him for no reason and all that. That's not really the fact. It's just your style is not translating into what's going on right now. And niggas like us is telling you that you're going to need more than what we've seen to win. You're just going to need more. And if not, for, 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 your, for, the, for us, do it for yourself. Like, show us that elite level of writing that makes niggas respect you. If you're nice like that, you got to show us. You can't be an average savage and we're just going to be like, all right, man, just because it's him, we're going to no, you get graded on the same level scale that we grade Rum Nitty on. That level scale is what you get, you get graded on the same scale that we grade Tay Rock, Sue Surf, uh, Rum Nitty, all of the nice niggas. You get graded the same way. Ain't no, we gonna say it's all right because it's, no. That ain't, bro, that's not fucking happening, man. It's not gonna be no, we gonna grade low because you don't, you don't, you don't really know the rule. No. You step out on the court with Dame Lillard, you see what's gonna happen. Once you step in them white lines, step out there. <sighs> John Moran, one of them coming at you. You better be ready. I wanna hear this. He's still getting adjusted, bro. It's been a span of two, three years now. It's no adjustment no more. Gotta be out there. Reed had to learn. <sighs> if Freeway come through here, he gonna have to learn. Cass is still learning. But you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he had moments in his last joint, but his first joint to now is different. You're gonna have to come in here. Yeah, and I don't really feel like you're gonna come in here and just bully people around. Like, it just don't work like that. But, you know, with Jay Mills, man, it's like, you should, I would listen. Get with the people that know what's going on in battle rap. Charlie Clips, he's in your, he's your, he should be your man. Like, he should be definitely, like, sparring with you. You should be sparring with active niggas right now. Mook just did his thing. You should be having Mook on your line. You should be definitely getting with the niggas to make sure that your shit is intact. Not no yes men, not no yes men. And this is why I say it could be crazy for Geechee Gotti because it's like, bro, if you don't beat J Mills, you gonna send J Mills stock, boom, through the ceiling, what? 
if you don't beat him clearly, like it's not even like no, no, uh, you know, I could like have a debatable after having that move, but no, 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 and I fuck with Gotti, but I, I don't think, I don't think that's how you want to end, end your 2020, my nigga, 2022. I don't think that's how he want to end this year. And I fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? Him, like L. I. the Mayor, all the niggas out there in LA, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with the nigga, but bro, come on. You don't want to end your year like that. Like, you got to have some impactful shit, especially in front of a crowd. Like, they waiting for one of those you versus surf performances, you versus rock performances. Just, like, get them niggas that shit. Like, one time, like, just spaz on everything. It's just ghost the nigga boots. Like, how you mean about the Mike P battle and shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to smoke some. You got to... Yeah. It's time that your resume, my boy. You, you want employee of the year three times, my nigga. You did a great job. But this is the next year after, and it's like, all right, we can't win all this, and then, you know, nigga, but, but I got confidence in him, and I'm gonna always have confidence in Gotti, because I know when it's time to put on, he did versus disaster. You know what I'm saying? That was a good battle. I don't know why. It should have got more love and attention than it did, but, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but I thought it was a good battle. But this could really be crazy for Gishi Gotti, bro. I think it could be really crazy because a loss to Jay Mills is gonna mean some shit. You gonna you gonna have like the first time I step on URL, I take the top nigga. <laughs> you one of the top niggas, bro. That's gonna let him say, yo, I can do whatever I want over here. I come on the first time I'm on this joint since Smack Era, DVD Era. You know what I'm saying? This nigga ain't been on no URL. Hell no, I ain't seen that nigga before. He been on no nigga. You know what I'm saying? So he step on there the first time and just, whoosh, all right, who's next? Nah, you got to protect this house, man. You got to protect this house. Like uh, Michigan did today. I told y'all they was going to beat Ohio State. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. I hope nobody, I hope none of y'all out there ain't putting no money on Ohio State either. I could have told y'all that. You don't see me on nothing but Sports Central, NBS Central. You got to check me over there. I make my predictions and all that, man. What is you doing? You got to, you got to keep up, man. I'm going to tell you who going to win. Yo, I'm going to tell you who going to win and how you going to get what you going to spend. I even said that New York was going to lose to Dallas. And my man Kel was like, what? You, you got, man, I'm realistic, baby. I'm going to call it how I call it so I can't spoil it. That's my squad, but I'm going to call when they're going to go down. Like, bro, South Carolina beat Clemson. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah, you got to get, come on, man. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think this could be crazy. This could potentially be crazy for Gotti. I hope he's preparing for the battle the way he needs to be because, uh, nigga, a loss to Jay Mills is going to make shit look crazy. You know, I'm thinking from a 2-0, 3-0. A lot of niggas had 3-0, 3-0. A lot of that might start turning to 2-1, 2-1 or something because, uh, 